Right, so this listener says, what on earth was the panda stuff about? Dan, I'm worried about your mental stability, my friend. <laughs> <clears throat> what is this? So I come to the conclusion at work the other day, of my very long shift, that pandas just want to be put out of their misery. I was like, why... What? What? He was, he was trying to animal, fight with Peter. That's what he was doing. What? What species of animal... That it goes through such lengths to try and put it like it, they jump off two story fucking things to try and kill themselves. You got round the clock people chasing them on suicide watch. It's like they're just a mistake that God wants to er- erase and we're keeping them alive. <laughs> and uh, yeah, people seem to. <laughs> we, are, we also have the cuter version too. The red panda is the cuter panda. Oh, I love the so red we- panda. We have a replacement ready to go. Yeah. I'm on board with you. Fuck pandas. I, they don't even fuck <laughs> themselves. This is what I was saying. So, I, like, for the rule, right, I have no problem with pandas. I'm not saying we should go out with guns. I'm just saying... Oh, I, I want them. I want to wear, like, a panda coat. I, <laughs> I'm just saying that God suddenly realized that he'd fucked up and he'd gone, right, I'm just going to let them die naturally. I'm going to make it so the female can only get pregnant for one day. The guy doesn't know how to use his ding dong. You know, I mean, that it's the world is against them in every single way. But we're like, no, we're not going to let you. We're going to watch you 24 hours a day. We're going to hire people to cuddle you. You know, there's there's professional panda cuddlers. I mean, it's not a bad gig if you can get it, I'm sure. But it's like, <laughs> why would you want to cuddle that panda? Give me a cute red panda. They're adorable. I love it's them. Like- it's like who gives you the well i say that but I'm, this is like a dig against vegans but who gives you the ability to eat meat and all you want to do is eat bamboo i mean <laughs> yeah. what's wrong with you i mean it's, they just obviously want to anyway so yeah so i emailed back and said mental stability is a myth <laughs> so uh yeah today i was thinking just to go down this like pandas route so yeah that was yes so today i've been thinking so Sabina sent me this meme about um it's like oh when your partner asks for pulled pork and you tell her I'll give you my pork. And I was like, well, that doesn't count for vegans because they don't eat meat. So what do they say instead? Aubergine. <laughs> give me your aubergine, but it doesn't have the same ring. Give me your um cauliflower steak. Nothing has the same ring, that's why it's vegan, steak. man. Yeah. Oh. I was like, what about the female version? Give me your wet lettuce. Yeah, wet I mean. lettuce. That's kind of sexy. I like that. <laughs> wet lettuce sounds good. Wet lettuce the, sounds um, like an STD to me, man. Because f- a, a man's one is like, uh, it, what do they call a woman? A, a meat taco. <laughs> meat taco, yeah. Burrito. <laughs> Burrito, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't, it doesn't have the same ring really when you, when you put vegetables instead of meat. It's less sexy. You know, mostly the wet lettuce thing. I got to admit that kind of gets me, but, <laughs> um, the, you know, the rest of it, I think meat just screams like primal, like, yeah. you know, I'm a fucking beast. I bet you secretly, they still do it. I don't think they change their, it's probably like, I only eat meat. I don't eat meat unless it's like a dick, you know, or something like that. <laughs> I don't eat I'll meat give... unless it's your meat. At time. I'm going to exactly. give you my, my yeah. artificially not meat corn. Yeah, come in, yeah. Can I give you my grown in a lab GMO dick? <laughs> <laughs> There's a new one, Beyond Penis. No. <laughs> no, oh good. my god! Yeah, that's what I was thinking about for eight hours today. Anyway, um, as you work callbacks. in a meat packing plant, yeah. <laughs> <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you must really hate them. They're trying to put you out of business. <laughs> they can try. It won't work. <laughs> um jamie's callback to the topic during the episode did make me chuckle so with christmas being upon us pretty quick i'm in need of some ideas for a present for my girl it's still pretty new and fresh so i don't want to come across like a crazy person going over the top but i still want to do something nice any help would be appreciated i got the perfect thing oh god so <laughs> why are you laughing already so, my friend when we were in high school got this for his girlfriend um and presented it to her in front of his family it was a two-part gift one of them was his head etched in a 3d glass cube that rotated and spun around <laughs> and then the other thing was he got a wax sculpture of his handmade 
like this with the two fingers up <laughs> so she could play with herself using his wax hand. And, ins- and he inscribed it for those lonely nights I'm not around. Because it's a fresh relationship, I think you need a gift like that to really, you know, establish <laughs> where you are. And she will think you're really sane. Present it in front of her family. They'll all laugh. You can get the <laughs> yeah, clone, clone my penis, isn't it? Clone my penis? Yeah. Get one of them. Oh, yeah. I thought it. about giving that a go just for just to see how it does. I don't, know I don't want the embarrassment of having to have like a two inch fucking <laughs> candle out, so I- I'll avoid that. <laughs> You'd have to like just ask a mate, ask someone you know is well endowed, and then just yeah, yeah, deal yeah. with that for the rest of your life. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm happy to do it for you, Jamie, if you, if you need me to. <laughs> no, Dan, I'm not, I'm not going down that road. I've been married long enough. Could you imagine you presenting it and Charlotte's like, that's not yours. And I'm just in the corner like, yeah. (laughs) You want to hope that she can recognize it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the thing. That'd be a fun game to play, right? You, you get, you and your boys, you all get like molds made of your dick and you have your ladies come over and you're like, you have to match the right one. (laughs) <laughs> I would never play that because if one one mates just turn out to be bigger, I'm like, don't touch that. Don't touch <laughs> well, it's not the one she wants. She just has to pick which one's yeah, yours. Yeah, but it doesn't right? matter now because she knows what it looks like, doesn't she? Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. you know what I mean, I'm like, you're so, thinking about, it, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> the jealousy would kick oh, in. Yeah. You want mics now, huh? You fucking <laughs> slut. You're all angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fuck it's terrible. Hell. Um, when it's a fresh <laughs> relationship, I don't think I think something small is probably better. I think or like a not a night away. Yeah, yeah. You know I think it's... something like that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I think gifts are hard. I never buy jewelry. I never do. Never bought any sort of necklaces. I've done it, but I feel like I'm usually further into the relationship. I think it has to be at least like a year before there's jewelry. Mm. Um, honestly, I would get her something that's personal to her, like what her likes and interests are. I don't know what type of person she is, but you know, if she's like, let's say she likes Disney, maybe you get her some really nice collectible or something like that. You know, just for an example, I don't know what she's into, but that's kind of what I feel a new relationship first gift is appropriate. It's something she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I think majority of people like this always annoys me with Christmas because the majority of people get stuff that they want all year round anyway. Like most people aren't like waiting for Christmas to get a certain thing unless you're fucking 16. So um, I think that one of the best things to do is try and find something that would look thoughtful, but isn't going to look like you're in like a psychopath by spending like two grand on her. Yeah. That's the best thing to do. I think I've always been quite good at gift giving. Yeah. Don't, yeah. yeah, Don't turn up with a fucking, uh, what was it called? Tesla. (laughs) Tesla, that's it. That's the exact car I was thinking about. That is a great idea for like a prank. So you get like, you rent a car, right? And you get like the bow and you put it on there. Mm. And she's like, what the fuck? And you're like, I got this for you. And you give her the keys and she goes out and opens it. And then like in the passenger, in the driver's seat, there's like a box. It's like, oh, your present's in there. Did you think I like bought you a car? That's fucking crazy. (laughs) <laughs> why would i do that that's nuts and then you never get called again <laughs> yeah but you went down she opens it up it's a, a starbucks swing, cup <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah i think um yeah expensive gifts on like the first is like too much mm. like that's like diving in the deep especially if like something you never know what happens and then you've spent like bought a fucking laptop or a, a brand new fucking phone you know what i mean yeah. Um, yeah, something small and personal is good. I would personally would do like a night away because then I, I know I haven't. Because then for me, <laughs> you're gonna get laid, yeah, uh, yeah. But I've then experienced what I'm paying for instead of being like, here's you know a hundred pound gift that is for you, and I don't get any enjoyment out of. <laughs> you're really not into the whole spirit of Christmas giving. Like I want you to be happy thing. No, the whole, I, um, I spend your whole time Christmas. travel thing is falling apart today, Dan, as well. Because a lot of the stuff you is uh, based coming back towards you when you was like, it's a selfish thing, that's why you don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, uh, yeah, it is a selfish <laughs> thing because I know the full well that if I went back and did something, I would want to tell someone. So it's a completely <laughs> relevant thing to do, wouldn't it? Like, it, it's not selfish if I can't tell someone about it, is it? <laughs> I'd invent it and then destroy it and be like, do you know what I did the other day? I invented time travel and uh, no one ever's ever going to find out how to do it. That, that's yep. what I would do. Hold it for myself. <laughs> Fucking time travel. I found a way to drag it back there. <laughs> Good. I hope we go back one more time. Rule of three. It's just such a fucking waste of arson. <laughs> <laughs> Rules of three. It's been mentioned since when was the? It was like last Monday or something. Yeah. So this is the third episode. <laughs> I've managed to bring it up. <laughs> um, but yeah, good luck. Anyway, um, whatever she'll get you, she appreciate, and um, and you'll do well. Let us know. Don't get anything that's like household based, like any like fucking Hoovers, <laughs> fucking um, dishwasher tablets or whatever the f- like. My um, father in law got my mother in law a blender once, a hand blender, and they still talk about it now. And that was twenty years ago. So whatever you do, do not do that. I'd I'd quite enjoy that. I like my that's like the gadgets. Homer gift. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 